good morning and welcome to today's upload. My name's Emma, make sure you subscribe for vlogs. I'm gonna be doing some sort of more hauls or whatever I can in the current climate. So you are back with me today with like a Primarchy Bootsy. I popped out to the shops for the first time today and got some stuff kind of haul. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see that last week I actually popped to the shops, which is my first time apart from going to a garden centre um, since, was it like the middle of March, beginning of March? So yeah, I was really apprehensive about going out, um, but I will have mentioned in the last vlog kind of how I found everything. So we're just back with the haul today. I'm very excited because first of all, I'm wearing a new dress that I went into a shop and I picked it with my hands and I bought it. Um, I will put it on this, I mean, look at this. You're definitely gonna get the dress just based on this. It's kind of, I will put it on my Insta stories at some point. It's kind of like a really nice long dress. It's from Primark, it's 15 pounds. It's got a really nice banana leaf um, print on. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I'm a huge fan of plants. I'm currently looking at my plant, Stevie Nicks, who, I've managed to revive because if you, you know, I have mentioned in many vlogs that she's been very tricky, but she's been very good and I've got some plants there. So it's a really, really lovely dress. It's blue and white. It'll look really nice with sandals. It's like midi length. It'll look really nice with um, Converse. So it's just really exciting. If you're coming to this video thinking, oh, I'm gonna get some inspiration for outfits, this is not the right video because, I'll be honest, because it was the first time I'd gone out, I kind of, I didn't panic buy because I had a list of stuff I wanted to get, but it was more sort of essential stuff that I just needed that I haven't been able to get. And then like random stuff I bought the kids and some makeup. So hopefully in the next few months, I'll do more kind of like style videos. Um, I will say because you can't try clothes on at the moment in the UK of me filming this, I am a bit reluctant to buy clothes because I have a figure that sometimes it doesn't, they don't fit that great. So I would probably still, if I was gonna buy myself um, lots of clothes, I probably would still stick to ASOS because, but however, if you're like a standard size 12, or you know that 16s in Primark fit you cool, but sometimes stuff don't, this doesn't fit me. Um, if you hear noise downstairs like dogs and children, because everybody's still at home. Right, enough talking. Okay, I am gonna start with the Primark stuff first of all. So I got this dress, there's lots of lovely midi dresses in. I actually went to the Fort Primark, not the big Primark, because um, if you're from someone else in the world, I live in Birmingham, which is the world's biggest Primark, it has the world's biggest Primark. But there's been queues of hundreds of people and I wasn't down for that. So I just picked up some basic tees. Um, I do find basic t-shirts very hard to get off ASOS, but I do know that these ones fit. So I got a black one, I got, a, got it in XL. This is like a slouch one. So this was two pound. I have a lot of midi skirts and these are perfect for ticking, um, ticking, tucking into midi skirts. I also wear a lot of jumpsuits and I like to have like short sleeve t-shirts or if I have a thin strap dress, I like to have a short sleeve t-shirt. I will actually link below and maybe up here the uh, like a spring fashion video did so you can have a look. So I got for £2.50, this was a, um, what would this be called? Like a stretch, this isn't slouch, this is like a, a bit of a tighter one. And I also, because I have a, you know, some plain black skirts and, you know, just plainer skirts and plainer jumpsuits, I picked up this um, mustard stripe one, which was £3.50. And that is a stretch crew, which I thought would look really nice, just with like my black, like jumpsuit and just a bit of cash, just just some essentials. I didn't I didn't feel confident enough to. Also, you don't really want to go like rifling through everything, do you? So I just picked up some base kicks. Um, of course, I had to get at what we've all been missing from Primark: some pajamas. And I saw these are boo pajamas, and I just thought, yes, because I have been wearing um, my. Mulan pajamas, which are made out of the same material and a similar sort of style, so much they are like threadbare. So I think that these are going to be a great addition. Um, and as we're not off to Disney World this summer, I thought I could wear these. They also had loads and loads and loads of amazing 
Disney night is loads gorgeous I'm gonna be really honest I don't wear a nighty to bed because I don't like my bum hanging out <laughs> I don't want that to happen because I will wake up and the night will have ridden up here and everything will be out. I don't want that. I like a pyjama and I like a legged pyjama, not a short pyjama. I'm very, very, very strict with that. I also picked up Ethan some socks. That boy has grown approximately five feet up and five feet out. He has, in lockdown, he has thrived like the sunflowers we have grown in the garden. So he needed some like big boy socks. So I just picked up a pack of seven for three pound. I'm kind of a little bit glad that they're not going back to school because I don't think his school uniform would have fitted him. It would have been a right old. I also picked up, Ethan is obsessed with Ryan's world. Do you watch him on YouTube? And I saw these pajamas and I was like, I'll treat him to that. In fact, with both children, what I did was I went to Poundland as well. I picked up, a Gryffindor bag for a pound each because they love Harry Potter and I popped to Poundland, I popped to uh, like Primark and the works and I just got them some bits and pieces and before I came in the house they're really like they're playing a game of top trumps really passionately um I went, got in the car I just filled a little bag of goodies each and it was so nice as a mum to like pop to a shop and just buy your kids just like a little couple of quid here and a little couple of quid there and I put a bit of chocolate in so um here's just some of the stuff they bought so yeah they both got one of those bags which was a pound i went to the works and i picked up a sequin mosaic for erin and then a glitter um mosaic um no a glitter underwater scene they've been learning a lot about animals at school um and they're doing the rainforest at the moment so i thought that'd be really good i also picked up from Poundland a couple of these little things that i thought they could paint for the other because they've got father's day stuff in at Poundland. So we'll do that one activity from Primark. Primark face masks are so much cheaper than everywhere else. Uh, so I got a kitten face mask and a tiger face mask. So cucumber and aloe and apple and strawberry. That sounds nice. So we can have a little treat. They got Harry Potter top trumps, which they're playing. And I also picked up a the magical guide to Wizarding World because you will know that I got a um, Animal Crossing book, which Erin's kind of commandeered. So I thought this would be nice for Ethan to have in his room. And what else did I get? Oh yeah, for Erin, I saw this. I would like this in my size, please. A, a lovely tie dye. Just a little, just a few little treats. It was nice. It was nice to come back from the shops and and go mummy's got you so that was that was really really good oh and also um because you will know that i did ethan's room in a harry potter style i picked him up a hedwig money bank so um that will go it probably won't be used to house money that will go somewhere in his room that was just like an added extra thing just to look i thought it looked really nice on his shelves in his room right i also popped a boot and I just restocked on my favourite shampoo. Um, at the beginning of the lockdown, I did do a Boots delivery order and we're getting towards the end of the stuff. I will say um, there were offers on, but perhaps not as many offers as usual. So I don't know if that's normal during these times. I don't know. This shampoo, I think, was still on offer. So this is my favourite shampoo. If you like the look of my hair and you want to know what shampoo I use, this one so i got um i don't know if that's borrowing it on half price or there was some sort of offer i also picked up steven um some links so i phoned him up and i was like do you want anything and he was like i'll just have some shower gel so i just got got him this it's not the most exciting present oh no there was, i did get him a couple of things actually sorry this is for father's day I got him a charcoal, this is just to put in with all the other stuff I've got him. I got him a hydrating mask. Looks manly, looks a bit like David Beckham, doesn't he? And I got, and this one looks like, um, not Justin Bieber, but the one on Love Island that looked like Justin Bieber, it looks like him. And I got him some nose strips, because I think he'd like that. When I did this, you know when we, um, we did the foot peel things? I think so, I think he'll like that. And then I also saw this 
which I don't know when it'll be. I might start doing the reward boxes with the kids again. Maybe, and this can go in there, but this is a Death Eater sheet mask. I've lost my mind, and that was from Poundland, uh, not Poundland Primark, and I bought them both a Dumbledore wand pen. Right, sorry, back to boots. Um, I have been looking for a metal razor, and I saw this, and this is usually a lot more than I would spend, but I feel that it's gotta be better than using loads of plastic. So this is called Friction Free Shaving, for Fessa, and it's a razor, and it was fifteen pounds and a six, four six-blade cartridges. So I think that should last a month. But I mean, I don't shave my legs that often, so we'll see. So I'll let you know how that gets on because I know lots of you kind of were concerned about plastic. Makeup-wise, I it was three for two. Uh, and I got a my foundation. I was at the dregs of it, so I got that. I wear ivory, match perfection, Rimmel. They didn't have any collection concealers, sad times, so I couldn't get that. I just picked up myself a face primer, just a cheap one. Just got Elf, Paula's face primer. I think I've used it before. And my favourite eyeliner, which is Smolder Coal by Safe and Glory. And then I picked up a deodorant. And then I was like, I've got a lot of stuff for a lot of other people. What do I need? Saw this. Did a did a cheer. Did a did a yes. It's my favourite Yankee candle. It's Belgian waffles. I never pay full price for candles. You know what I'm like. But I did pay full prices because I thought, do you know what? I've been out. I felt bright. I felt brave. And me and my friend Jocelyn were talking about candles for an inordinate amount of time when I saw it at the weekend. And we were talking about our favourite candles and how, like, most of the candles at the moment are floral and how we can't find Belgian waffles everywhere. And I put this on my stories and she, like, straight away sent me a message going, <gasps> so, yeah, so I paid full price. But every Saturday, if you watch me on my... Now I'm looking at it, it is a little bit... Dark, I don't know. Let's not worry about that. Let's not worry. But if you follow me on Instagram, you will know that every Saturday I make the children cinnamon rolls, aka I pull them out of a packet, and I liked a Belgian waffles candle. So there's probably one week left on the one we've got, and then I can get this one out. This is the Sunday Brunch Collection. It's not online, wasn't on Amazon, could find it nowhere, but was in Boots. So well done, Boots. So there we go, all this stuff was from the fort. I haven't been into Birmingham city centre, which is our main city centre. I might try next time, maybe I might go to West Bromwich, which also has a little Primark and like a little shopping centre. And I don't think my so I, I probably, might, probably won't take Ethan, but I might take Erin for a little mooch round, but I'm gonna, you know, see, see play it by ear. See, see, see the lay, the lay of the land, the lie of the land. You know what I'm talking about. Just talking rubbish. But well, hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you very soon for another upload. I love you lots. Let me know how you are in the comment. How's it going in your country? Do you have to wear face masks? Just give me the lowdown, and I will see you very soon. Bye, guys. <laughs>